my beautiful butterflies welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Beverly and it is lovely to see you today in this video we're talking about how to make bath rituals a little bit more accessible to the disabled so grab your cup of tea let's get to it so I think we've all looked on Instagram scrolly scrolly been on TikTok having a look through and we've come across witches sharing their bath rituals full of beautiful herbs and flowers and they look incredible with all candles and you look at them and you just think I bet that's amazing to lie in but I can't do that. For me personally it's that my husband has to help me in and out of the bath also he has to draw the bath for me he has to run the bath because I have very little feeling in my hands and feet and so if it's too hot I could scold myself very easily so he has to like set up the bath for me this makes it quite difficult to do and also uh, things like having things floating in the bath make it really really difficult for my husband who has to clean the bath afterwards and then I feel guilty because I can't lean down to clean things out of the bath it just leaves me feeling guilty and that's not what I want to feel I want to feel like a goddess I want to lie in a bath and luxuriate and just feel amazing and make an incredible spell occur even as a disabled woman I can do that I can make it happen and I've got some tips and tricks some things I've been thinking about reading about because I think it's important that we stop seeing witchcraft through the lens of these able-bodied rich witches who can just you know live these amazing instagrammable lives we are disabled we are just as powerful just as magic as any witch out there it doesn't matter whether our bath looks incredible or if we're just putting our intention into the bath there's many reasons why we can't do the things they can do from needing a carer to put us in the bath using hoists to get into the bath or even just the fact that we don't have a bath so I'm going to give you some ideas, some thoughts and feelings. Before I get to it though, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really does help my channel to grow and that's what I want. I want to help more and more people to bring witchcraft into the everyday and not just leave it for big ceremonial things. Let's clear it all away and let's make it simple. So the first idea I had was a simmer pot. Now if you don't know, a simmer pot is basically moon water or sun water or some kind of magical water that you might have then you put that into a saucepan or I personally use a thrifted fondue set but you put all the stuff in there you light I've got like little candles that are put underneath or you just light the fire and you put in herbs and ingredients and flowers like you would into the bath ritual you do that into the pot then after it's simmered for like four or five hours, maybe all day, then you take it off, you let it go cold and you strain out the flowers and everything like that. And so then you're just left with the water. That water can then be added to your bath water, imbuing all that magic from all those herbs and everything into the water that you're having in your bath. And then you can just have a normal bath and be really like, you know, magical without all the pressure and stress of having to deal with a massive bathtub because at the end of the day a bath is just a cauldron right it's just a cauldron you can use it as such you can make it smaller and simmer pots are wonderful i use simmer pots to create cleaning products and stuff like that if you'd like me to do a video just on simmer pots let me know i can do that for you easy as peasy i don't know what that was okay <laughs> The next thing is reusable tea bags. You can buy these at Amazon, places like that. If I find some, I will leave links down below. Reusable tea bags I got given to me by a friend and I have lots of them. I didn't really know what to use them for and I was thinking about baths, you know? Like, isn't a bath just a giant teacup? And if it's a giant teacup, surely I could just fill up the tea bag stay with me here with all the herbs and flowers and things that I want to put in my bath do up the tea bag plonk it in the bath imbued all that magic from that tea bag from those herbs and spices and all that jazz into my bath without the mess so it's using up fewer spoons thoughts 
I think I'm onto something here. I'm probably not the only person to think of it, but I thought of it yesterday and I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm missing out on this big thing that I could be doing to make my baths even more magical. And, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Oh, plus, I forgot to say, I will be sharing my own bath ritual that I did last night for sleep at the end of the video. So uh, stay tuned for that. The next one is very similar but with this take a teapot put all your herbs and stuff in the teapot hot water let it cool take it to your bath pour it in strain so you haven't got to worry about straining it because a lot of teapots come with um like what's the word they come with like a little strainer inside the teapot before it gets to the poury bit i don't know words today so anyway, it stops all the herbs and stuff clogging up the spout and also it stops them going into the bath, which then you haven't got to clean the bath, you've just got to clean the teapot. Less spoons used. I think that would work really, really well and be so fun. I'm going to try these things myself. I will report back on uh, on my social medias. Links to all of those are down below. Now, I was also thinking not all of us can have a bath full of intention and purpose some of us don't have a bath or maybe your physical body doesn't allow you or permit you to sit in a bath for a long period of time for whatever reason how how else can we do a ritual using water and one is a foot soap i was thinking of this because i was thinking of jesus now i know i know but bear with me okay i was thinking of jesus and i was thinking about the fact that often back in those times they would wash the feet of people they cared about so they would go and pour jesus's feet with oil and clean it with their with their hair and it was a really high form of respect i was thinking a foot soap could be quite a beautiful way of doing this now for this you will need a hand i would anyway because i can't lift and stuff so maybe not accessible to everyone but i have got another idea coming in a minute but you could put all your herbs and things and all your ritual items into the foot soap sit with your feet in there have a little nice time watch some telly listen to some music maybe read a book I don't know I thought a foot soap would be really really nice and I was also thinking about the fact that when I'm meditating I often connect my feet to the floor think of my feet having roots that come down into the earth and then I can draw up mother nature's energy and I thought wow a foot soap would be such a lovely way of just drawing that energy into your body think about it I think it would be nice but what if a foot soak is not your thing maybe you live alone maybe you know you don't have somebody who is caring for you a lot of people deal with family that aren't that understanding of where they are in their disability or chronic illness and so it can be quite difficult to get someone to give you a hand they expect that you can do it yourself so I was thinking about that and I thought, hmm, what about a little shower ritual? And I was thinking maybe you could again take the tea bag idea, the reusable tea bags that you can buy online, put your herbs and stuff in and tie it around your shower head. The water would then go through the tea bag and you would get all of that lovely magical intention just all over you. I thought that was absolutely beautiful. When I'm in the shower, I always we have like spotlights above the shower and when your eyes are closed it's like being bathed in orange golden light and I always imagine that just cascading over me you know like it just feels so magical if I added in something like that to my shower I think that would be absolutely incredible let me know if any of these ideas resonate with you if they help you to think outside the box a little bit we can't all do those instagram worthy baths and it's a shame but it doesn't make you less of a witch just because you cannot do it in a traditional way or that your bath doesn't look as magical as theirs does it doesn't mean that you are less than it means that we are disabled and we're used to navigating the world in a slightly different way and that's all we're doing here is navigating magic in a slightly different way now uh, 
uh, let's head to yesterday and see how my bath ritual went. So we're here in my bathroom, it's not very bright in here so I apologise but today I'm going to show you how I do a very simple bath ritual. I haven't slept very well yesterday, I had a lot of pain somnia. I did a blog post about that so I'll leave a link to it down below. But um, let's show you how I put together a bath ritual that's very simple, very easy and doesn't cost a lot of money. So down here I have got all my bath products and I'm looking for this one, lavender bath salts. I have some lovely lavender bath foam and I have this lush bath bomb that's supposed to help babies go to sleep but it's really good for us adults as well. First I take a handful of the bath salts, these are really nice, I'll leave a link to these down below. And the lavender bath foam. And then the bath bomb, all the time saying out your what you want to achieve by doing this ritual, so for me it's a good night's sleep with no pain. And that will work really well. You don't have to have lots of herbs and things floating in your bath. You don't have to have things that are going to set you alight or make your asthma bad, like having burning candles and things. It's as simple as putting your attention and your intentions into the bath. Lastly, a big part for me is music. So I'm going to get my Spotify app and I'm going to find a playlist that's really going to bring out what I want to achieve in the bath ritual so i want to have a really good night's sleep so i'm going to have a look for and there you go so that was it that was my bath ritual and honestly i slept like a baby after that the intention in it the magic in it was just beautiful i lay in, in there and immediately felt all my muscles relax I felt like a new woman and today I even put makeup on. Look at that. I don't often wear makeup but I am starting to get back into it. And I'm really like my makeup today. I'm not very good at it. But it doesn't matter. Proves that I had extra I had extra spoonages today and um so i wanted to show you all that it does work doing things in a different way doesn't mean that you're less of a witch i really hope that you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it if you did please head down below and leave it a cheeky little like so i know that you enjoyed it that you got something out of it and other people can start to see my videos a bit more that would mean the world to me and i would love to hear what you thought of these ideas, how you make your bath rituals a little bit more accessible. If this gave you some ideas, some thoughts, some feelings, anything you're going to try, let me know all the things down in the comments. I love hearing from each and every one of you. You're all my little butterfly family lamb and I, I just love chatting to you all. And last but certainly not least, if you enjoy my content, if you like my face, <laughs> Don't forget to head down below and hit that subscribe button and become part of the butterfly family. I would love to see you spread your little wings and become part of the butterfly family. This is going to be a series on my channel so if you enjoyed this don't forget to hit that little subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you always know when I upload. I'm usually here Mondays and Fridays my health permitting. I always do my very best to be here with you every week, twice a week. Hope you're all doing well. I'm sending you all so much love and I will see you next time. Bye! <music>